वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल गाइस इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द पार्ट बी क्वेश्चन ए द क्वेश्चन ए सेज दैट टू ड्रॉ द सर्किट डायग्राम एंड एम्प्लॉय द जनरेशन ऑफ एस एस बी एस सी सिंगल साइड बैंड सप्रेस्ड कैरियर वेव यूजिंग द फेस शिफ्ट मेथड दैट मीन्स यूजिंग द फेस डिस्क्रिप्शन मेथड फॉर जनरेटिंग द एस एस बी एस सी सिग्नल सो लेट्स राइट द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन सो लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द आंसर let's know what is phase shift method and what does happen in it so the phase shift method of ssb generation uses a phase shifting technique that cancels out one of the side band here one of the side band of the signal is removed from the entire signal so the block diagram it consists of two balanced modulators two phase mo phase shifting networks and a summary amplifier uh, let's draw the diagram so from here we will give the message signal to a balanced modulator this is the first balanced modulator and the 90 degree phase shifted signal will be again given to another balanced modulator and here we are having a local oscillator which generates the carrier signal and this goes to both this is a 90 degree phase shifting network and this is the second balance modulator again this signal goes to here and finally this is a summing amplifier in which both the signals will be added up so here we are giving message signal let's say m of t it is am sin omega m t this is the first balanced modulator balanced modulator 1 and this is the second balanced modulator modulator 2 this is a 90 degree phase shifting network and this is also a 90 degree phase shift network network so this is a local oscillator and it generates a carrier signal which is denoted by c of t and this local oscillator goes to both modulator second and the 90 degree phase shifting network after passing to 90 degree phase shifting network it uh, shifts the Uh, carrier signal by 90 degree so the carrier signal becomes as ac sin 90 plus omega ct and now the result from second ba balanced modulator will be written as s2 of t and the result from balanced modulator 1 will be denoted as s1 of t so what are the inputs to balanced modulator 2 the input are the 90 degree phase shifted this message signal uh, message signal can be written as am sin 90 plus omega mt and uh, this normal carrier signal will be uh, passed to the balanced modulator so the result can be written as am ac by 2 under brackets sin omega c plus omega m of t plus sin omega c minus omega m of t so this is s2 of t let's write s1 of t s1 of t is equals to ac am by 2 sin omega c plus omega m of t minus sin omega c minus omega m of t so this both s1 and s2 will be passing through this summing amplifier and since this and this signal are out of phase this both will be cancelled out and what are these these are the lower side band and hence the lower side band will be cancelled out from the signal and since these both are in phase with each other these both will be get added up so let's write the theory part. so let's write that line here the message signal is 90 degree phase shifted and the carrier signal is normally given to modulator 2 so the 90 degree phase shifted message signal and the carrier signal 
is given to balance modulator tool whereas the normal message signal and 90 degree phase shifted this is 90 degree phase shifted carrier signal is given to balance modulator 1 so since both of the balance modulator are producing some output we will write both the balance modulators produces an output consisting of two sidebands how we how are we saying that it consists of two sidebands because this is the upper sideband and this is the lower sideband and here also this is the upper sideband and this is the lower sideband so that is ds b s c waves that means double sideband suppressed carrier double sideband means two sidebands are present so this is first sideband and this is second sideband that's it it's clear right so let's write the next lines here we know that this signal and this signal are out of phase so we'll write that lower sidebands are out of phase and the upper sidebands are in phase so when lower sidebands are getting added they are cancel of they are cancelling each other and when upper sidebands are passed through summing amplifier they get added up so we will write the line as the lower sidebands are shifted out of phase by 180 degree with another lower sideband and they get cancelled out out when they are added and for the upper sideband the USB are in phase with another USB so they directly get added when pass it through the summing amplifier so this all operation can be written in mathematical form also so let's prove that mathematically let's say that this m of t is equals to a m sin omega t m 1 of t is equals to a m sin omega t and this is m2 of t m2 of t is equals to a m sin 90 plus omega t m2 of t is equals to a m sin 90 plus omega t and now the carrier signal this is the c uh, 2 of t because it's going to the second modulator for our convenience we'll write it as c2 of t and this is c1 of t so c1 of t is equals to a c sin 90 plus omega c t and c2 of t is equals to a c sin omega c t right and uh, as here this m2 of t and c2 of t are getting uh, multiplied in this uh, second balance modulator and this m1 of t and uh, c1 of t is getting multiplied in this balance modulator after that we are getting this result from the balance modulator 1 and this result from balance modulator 2 so let's explore that how this result came from the multiplying m2 of t and c2 of t and uh, multiplying uh, uh, c1 of t and m1 of t in the balance modulator 1 so the we'll write it as inputs to balance modulator 1 are m1 of t and c1 of t right and inputs to balance modulator 2 are m2 of t and c2 of t now the output of the balance modulator 1 1 would be m1 of t into c1 of t right so this will written as am sin omega m t this is also m this is also m sin omega t into ac sin 90 plus omega c of t right so we'll write it as am ac sin omega m t sin 90 plus omega c t that line was am ac sin omega 
సి టీ ప్లస్ మా ఇంటి అండ్ సైన్ ఒమేగా ఎమ్ ఆఫ్ సి రైట్ సో వి నో దాట్ సెన్స్ టూ సైన్ ఏ సైన్ బి ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్స్ టు కాస్ ఏ మైనస్ బి మైనస్ కాస్ ఏ ప్లస్ బి అండ్ ఆల్సో వి నో దాట్ కాస్ ఆఫ్ నైంటీ ప్లస్ ఏ క్యాన్ బి రిటర్న్ యాజ్ మైనస్ ఆఫ్ సైన్ ఏ రైట్ సో హెల్ వీ ఆర్ హ్యావింగ్ ఏఎం ఏసి బై టూ కాస్ ఒమేగా సిటి ప్లస్ నైంటీ మైనస్ ఒమేగా ఎం పి మైనస్ కాస్ ఒమేగా సిటి ప్లస్ నైంటీ ప్లస్ ఒమేగా ఎం ఆఫ్ టీ రైట్ సో దిస్ క్యాన్ బి రియరెంజ్ అండ్ రిటర్న్ యాజ్ ఏఎం ఏసి బై టూ కాస్ నైంటీ ప్లస్ ఒమేగా సి మైనస్ ఒమేగా ఎం పి మైనస్ కాస్ నైంటీ ప్లస్ ఒమేగా సి ప్లస్ ఒమేగా ఎం ఆఫ్ టి రైట్ ఐ కంబైన్ దిస్ బోత్ అండ్ టుక్ ద టీ కామన్ సో దిస్ ఈస్ కాస్ నైంటీ ప్లస్ ఏ రైట్ దిస్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో కాస్ నైంటీ ప్లస్ ఏ సో దిస్ క్యాన్ బి రిటర్న్ యాజ్ ఏఎం ఏసి బై టూ అండ్ మైనస్ ఆఫ్ సైన్ ఒమేగా సి మైనస్ ఒమేగా ఎం మైనస్ ఆఫ్ మైనస్ ఆఫ్ మైనస్ ఆఫ్ సైన్ ఒమేగా సి ప్లస్ ఒమేగా ఎం రైట్ లెట్స్ పుట్ దిస్ ఇన్ ట్రాకెట్ సో దిస్ విల్ బి రియర్ ఇన్ జాన్ రిటర్న్ యాజ్ సైన్ ఒమేగా సి ప్లస్ ఒమేగా ఎం మైనస్ సైన్ ఒమేగా సి మైనస్ ఒమేగా ఎం అండ్ ఇస్ వాట్ వీ గెట్ దిస్ క్యాన్ బి అరేంజ్ అండ్ రిటర్న్ యాజ్ ఏసిఏఎం బై టూ సైన్ ఒమేగా సి ప్లస్ ఒమేగా ఎం మైనస్ ఏసిఏఎం బై టూ సైన్ ఒమేగా సి మైనస్ ఒమేగా ఎం సో దిస్ ఎంటైర్ థింగ్ ఈజ్ ద అప్పర్ సైడ్ బ్యాండ్ అండ్ దిస్ ఎంటైర్ థింగ్ ఈజ్ ద లోవర్ సైడ్ బ్యాండ్ అండ్ హ్యాన్స్ బి గోట్ ద డిఎస్బిఎస్సి సిగ్నల్ డిఎస్బిఎస్సి సిగ్నల్ మీన్స్ డబల్ సైడ్ బ్యాండ్స్ అప్ రెస్ కేరియర్ టూ సైడ్ బ్యాండ్స్ ఆర్ ప్రెసెంట్ ఇయర్ దిస్ ఈస్ ద అప్పర్ సైడ్ బ్యాండ్ దిస్ ఈస్ ద లోవర్ సైడ్ బ్యాండ్ so this is the output of balance modulator 1 now let's see the output of balance modulator 2 we'll write m2 of t into c2 of t what was m2 of t m2 of t was am sin 90 plus omega m of t into ac sin omega c of t this can be written as am ac sin 90 plus omega m of t and sin 9 sin omega c t right again this can be written as cos of a minus b minus cos a plus b and the same thing we will get so let's directly write it c by 2 sin of omega c plus omega m plus sin of omega c minus omega m of t we got this plus sign here because when we write bo- these both two the first term we write it as cos of 90 plus omega mt minus omega ct right so this entire term is a so this cos 90 plus omega m minus omega c of t can be written as minus of sin omega m minus omega c of so we will get is minus sin omega m minus omega c of t but what we want is minus c minus omega m when we write it as minus of sin minus omega c minus omega m of t uh, we know that sin of minus a is equals to minus sin of a so this minus and minus will become plus and sin omega c minus omega m of t is written here and hence again we can separate it like this we will write a m a c by 2 sin omega c plus omega m of t plus a m a c by 2 sin omega c minus omega m of t this is the upper side band and this is the lower side band so this is the output of second balance modulator and this both signals will go to the summing amplifier and this both will be added up so let's write that statements so when both the balance modulator 1 output and balance modulator 2 output uh, that are denoted by s1 of t plus s2 of t we add am of ac by 2 sin omega m plus omega c of t minus am ac by 2 sin omega m minus omega c of t sorry this is omega c this is omega m and the next s2 of t is am ac by 2 sin omega m plus omega c of t plus ac am by 2 sin omega c minus omega m of t right so this both terms will get cancelled up and we'll get 2 am ac by 2 sin omega m plus omega c of t and this will get cancelled am ac sin omega m plus omega c of t is the output of the uh, 
uh, summing amplifier right so this is basically the principle of the phase shift modulator it cancels one of the side bands here the lower side band is cancelled up and we'll draw the second block diagram in which the upper side band will get cancelled up so we will give the message signal from here that is m of t and it will go to a balanced modulator right now in this thing we place it the 90 degree phase shifter in the downwards and in previous the 90 degree phase shifter was here now the message signal is written as am sine omega m of t and after the 90 degree phase shift it will become as am sine 90 plus omega m of t and this is the local oscillator it will generate the carrier signal the carrier signal can be written as ac sine omega c of t and denoted by c of t after 90 degree phase shift it will become ac sine 90 plus omega c of t and the balance modulator will give the uh, s2 of t output and the balance modulator one will give output s1 of t in which the upper side band will be out of phase and the lower side bands will be in phase so the when the upper side band and lower side band uh, get added up in the summing amplifier the upper side bands are cancelled up and the lower side bands because they are in phase they are added up and so in this manner the upper side bands are uh, removed from the signal When this S1 and S2 will get added up, we will get S2, S of T that is, is equals to when this and this will get cancelled out, which are the upper side bands, we will get AM, AC, cos, omega C minus omega M of T. This is the lower side band and here the upper side bands are cancelled out. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any question or suggestion, you can drop it in the comment box. And don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video. Bye.